The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you and I will lead you back your captives from every place. Along with your own prayers this morning, please remember the Ruiz, Montalvo, Morocco, and Cruz families for whom this Mass is offered. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, opening our hearts to receive God's word, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you nourish us with your word and with your body. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your church may always remain that holy people formed as one by the unity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which manifests to the world the sacrament of your holiness and unity and leads it to the perfection of your charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. He said to me, Take it and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth it was like sweet honey, but when I had eaten it, my, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The word of the Lord. How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. 
with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, it is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death but they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Our prayers and readings during these past weeks have focused us on end times, the upcoming most imminent end of the church year with the first Sunday of Advent. And soon after that, the end of the calendar year, we'll bid farewell finally to 2020. But more personally for each of us, and certainly more difficult, is the focus that's meant to happen in each of us on the end of our own times. The fact that we are mortal and that our time is limited is meant to challenge us to take God's word into our hearts, to accept God's promise of life and time beyond what we experience now. That's the the sweet part, that life doesn't end in this world for people of faith. Our passing is a change of life, yet the challenge comes from accepting that. It means changing now. If we're going to live with the Lord forever, it means living with him now, and there's where the hard part comes in for each of us. Those areas of our lives where our temple needs to be cleansed, where we're still holding on to things that we need to let go, be they attitudes, opinions, grudges, places where we're not allowing God's forgiveness into our hearts. Each one of us, we each need to change, and that's what the Lord is calling us to. It's why we're here this morning, not just to hear the challenge, but to allow the Lord Jesus, especially in the Eucharist, into our hearts to help us identify those areas that need to be cleansed so that we might be living more with him here and now in the hope of living with him forever. Let's truly prepare ourselves for that end, the end of this immediate time in our lives, but also that ultimate transition from this world to the next, so that whenever it comes, we are truly ready and prepared. Let us now approach the throne of the Father and offer him our prayers. For Pope Francis, may the Lord guide and sustain him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may God bless them with fortitude in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mourning the loss of a loved one, may the Lord fill them with his presence and console them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in this community of faith discerning a vocation to the priesthood or religious life, may God's grace and peace be with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, especially James Sowa, Sarah Murphy, Sandra Giordano, and all those whose names are in the Book of Remembrance and placed on the altar. May they rest in the peace of the Father's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic, for the recovery of those who have been sickened, for the protection of the doctors, nurses, first responders, 
and all doing life-sustaining work who put themselves in harm's way to serve others. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Father, accept the prayers of our hearts and answer them according to your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of your son's boundless love, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through the ministry of your church, the fruits of his saving work may advance the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him you brought us to the knowledge of your truth, so that by the bond of one faith and one baptism, we might become his body. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all the nations, so that in a wondrous manner he might prompt and engender unity in the diversity of your gifts, dwelling within your adopted children and filling and ruling the whole church. And so in a company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, where the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen, I say to you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you will receive, and it shall be given to you, says the Lord. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
God, who by this wonderful sacrament gives courage and comfort to the Church, grant that through the holy gift your people may hold fast to Christ, so that by the tasks they carry out in this present age, they may in freedom build up your eternal kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us.